So welcome back to the next episode. Um, in the last episode, we designed the base of our garden room. And today we're going to be looking at um, the foundations. There's there's a few options that you have with the foundations. Um, I mean, you could just do a concrete base, which obviously is quite expensive because it's a lot of concrete. But we're going to look at the way I've done it in my build series, which is a 150 millimeter concrete kind of post pile foundation. Um, but saying that you could also use ground screws if you wanted to, but they work exactly the same way as the concrete posts. They're just a lot more expensive, um, but the spacing would be the same. So let's get back into SketchUp and to our model that hopefully you saved from the last episode and we can crack on. Let's go. So we go back into SketchUp and I named mine Shed, so I'm going to double click on that. And here we go. So I'm going to just grab the Orbit tool down here just so that we can have a little look round. Now one thing that we didn't do at the end of the last episode that we should have done was select everything and make it a component so if we come over here to the glasses and click display we can delete all guides we don't need them now so we're just going to get rid of those and then we're going to we can close that window with that arrow up there and then using either command a on a mac or control a on a pc do that and it will select everything that you've got now if you right click you can make this a component. So we can click on that and it comes up with. So I'm gonna call this Timber Base and that's all I need to do. And I'm gonna click OK. So that is now a component. Now if you needed to edit it, you can. You can just double click and you can click, you can move your grouped items around or if you wanted to edit that item, you can double click again and it will go right down into the, um, the specific components that you can then change. But that now is something that is its own thing. So for this, we are going to do our foundations. Now, I'm just gonna turn it this way so you can see. So our measurement, from this corner to this corner is three meters. It doesn't matter if you're using uh, ground screws or the, 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 the concrete pile solution that I'm doing in my build series. They basically, the spacing is the same and you kind of want one every meter. Um, now, your joists won't work out every meter. So you, you have to sort of, work out what you think the best is but this is three meters so by three meters so we're going to have one here one about a meter one about another meter and then one here and these ones will be really easy and then we'll have another four down this end and then we'll have a row maybe here and then another row maybe here but we can work out the specifics shortly once we know what we're doing. So we're going to turn the base upside down and we're going to go to the tape measure tool which is this one and from this edge we're going to drag down and just type 1000 a meter and then from that we're going to do the same 1000 one meter so that it gives us an idea of where the posts have got to go if it was going to be perfectly spaced. And then we're going to do it from the other side. So that's 1,000 and 1,000. So as you can see, we're going to have one here, one here, one here, 
one here, one here, one here, one here, one here, one here, blah, blah, blah. And then in the middle, we'll have to, this will work out okay. And this side is not so great. So you probably will go here and here. Now, we don't need to represent these as, uh, if you're using ground screws, it, it doesn't have to be exactly as a ground screw. So it doesn't have to look like a ground screw. So I'm gonna to go to the shapes and I'm gonna to go to the circle. And then on this line here, I'm gonna click it and I'm gonna type, pull it away a little bit, and I'm gonna type a 75 because that's the, the radius of the circle, as it says down here in the bottom corner. I'm gonna type that in again, 75. And that gives us the first Kind of part of our of our concrete um, pad. So and then we can come back down to our push pull tool, and we're going to drag that, and we're sort of dragging it towards us. And I made mine 500 millimeters deep. So if we just skirt around, then you can see where that is, um, which is great. It looks exactly right. Now we're going to copy that, but before we copy it, we're going to click on the paint bucket tool and we're going to come back over here to the browse option. And um, there is asphalt and concrete, and we're just going to pick a concrete -y color that one will do. And we're going to make that concrete like that. I mean, you don't have to do this, you can leave them white if you want, or any other color for that matter. So now we've got our one. Just gonna tilt this way again, and then double click on that, and then right click and select make a group. Again, that means that this won't blend in with any other items. So, what I need to do now is get the move tool, and we're gonna just grab it in the middle there and push our alt button. And we're going to drag it along the green axis and kind of just place it roughly in the middle of that. And then we can do that again. And we'll put one there. And we'll do it again. And we'll put one there. So that's looking pretty good. So now I'm going to hold the shift key and select all four. And then I'm gonna go back down to the move tool. And this time I'm going to push the alt key and put some there. And then hold the alt key again and put some there. And then again and put them there. Now we're gonna to need to have a bit of a look round just to make sure they're roughly in the right place, which they are. And if we come up this way, you can see that nearly all of them have a home except these two. What you could do is just put an extra timber in so that you get the perfect space and you could put a timber in there as well, just so you have still got all the right spacings for your sheets of plywood, but also this picks up your footings, and then your footings then are all in a really nice uh, equal measurement away from each other. Each one is exactly where it should be and you've got an extra timber in there which doesn't do any harm. And that is your base or your foundations. So what I'm gonna do, okay, so from this position, what I'm gonna do, we don't need the guides anymore, so I'm gonna come back down to the glasses icon and I'm gonna just delete all the guides and close that window. And then I'm going to use uh, Command A or Control A from PC to select everything. Now I'm going to push Shift. I don't want um, 
the base and the foundations to be in the same uh, component. So I'm going to just click that, which then leaves all of the piles the same, and I'm going to right click and make component. Now this is going to be piles, I'm going to call it. And that is your foundation. So this whole structure will be sunk into the ground and the ground level underneath the, the base is about 50 mil lower than the top of the concrete pads. And then the ground around um, the base is, is basically level, level with the top of the base. Now the reason for that is in the UK you can only build um, temporary structures which this is class because it's not fixed down it's just the weight of it holds it onto the pads um, 2.55 meters high now with a substantial base and roof and doors it doesn't give you an awful lot of play to just have this on your garden because if you use ground screws you still have to be 50 mil above the floor so sinking it all into the garden is more work but it kind of makes it more of a permanent structure and it is going to be if you do it properly like this it is going to be there for 20 odd years probably more so it, it's worth doing it properly so that's it for this episode in the next episode uh, come back and we're going to put the insulation in in the gaps and we are also going to put the subfloor on so we're going to make some insulation and we're going to make some plywood and put that all together in our model okay great thanks a lot if you've got any questions please comment below um, go and check out the build series that I'm doing of my garden room and um, like and subscribe and come back for the next episode where we're gonna carry on the design Peace.